Okay, so combos with Nezuko. Nezuko is actually a character where you really have to pay attention to where you are when you get a combo to see what ways you can extend your combo. If you're mid-screen, you're probably going to have to use your demon skill to get some kind of combo like this, which is pretty decent damage and it leads to a hard knockdown, so you get to build back all your special gauge, and by the time you finish, you've built it back about half of your demon gauge. So half health for a hard knockdown combo is pretty good if you ask me, and you can actually add a few more hits to the start of the combo if you do like hit confirm it a little bit late you'll still get a nice hard knockdown with the previous one if you get less hits you might be able to get another special move for a little bit more damage but uh yeah pretty nice combo and it's pretty easy to do and you can do it anywhere on the screen but if you are paying attention when you're playing nezuko and you do realize oh i'm kind of near a wall you can actually get free extensions using a dash cancel after your um frenzied kicks which is not usually a special move you can combo off of um especially for free. So this is a free dash cancel you can get if you do frenzy kicks when you notice you're somewhat close to the corner and it's very very powerful. It's You can go for any kind of combos you want whether it's a reset or cashing out with a demon skill because you didn't use a demon skill to extend the combo so you can use it at the end of the combo instead. Something like this is gonna do a big juicy amount of damage over half of the opponent's life for a pretty simple combo that really isn't that expensive. Um, except for the demon skill. But uh, yeah, those are the kind of the combo situations you have to pay attention for when you're playing Nezuko, and other than that, no matter how you choose to like run your combos together, you're gonna do a big chunk of damage. And as long as you pay attention to your combo enders, so your main combo enders are frenzied kicks, and your Fiery Slash. I prefer to go for Frenzy Kicks whenever I can, just because it doesn't cost as much, but the Fiery Slash does do more damage and it scales less, so it'll do a big chunk at the end of the combo. Um, if you do get a red combo, say off of your Tilt Attack, I like to just do a full attack string into my Tilt Special, and then I can either go for a grab or for attacks. It's actually surprising how often this works, even just going for attacks, and as you can see, if the grab hits, it does tons of damage. But, um... It's surprising how often it works just because you can't combo off of this with your regular attacks. But the opponent is just trying to jump or mash or do something after this, and they end up just getting hit by the regular attacks afterwards. So I'm like, okay, cool, free combo. <laughs> and it, it works surprisingly often. They can't jump, they can't sidestep out of it. I don't know if they can fit in an armor attack in that tiny little gap. I haven't tested it yet, but it's a very, very powerful reset, so I just choose to go for that. Um, Honestly... There's not too much complexity when it comes to combos with Nezuko. You just want to cancel your combo into your special moves as soon as you can so that you don't get too much scaling. And if you want to go for your demon skills, you can. You can use any kind of finisher you want. You can do it meterless like that. Or do the kind of combos we just showed before. Get a hard knockdown. And if you are near a corner, you don't even have to use the both special moves. Even if you just do a full attack string and you realize you're kind of close to a corner. Boom. Just like do this and if you realize you're already close to a corner you can just do like a few hits so like if i'm i didn't even need to do much into it it's ridiculous how free form she can be that is not a good combo under there because it will not fully connect but uh if you're wanting to combo into an ultimate um i suggest you use your DP because it does a nice chunk of damage and can actually combo into your ultimate for some reason. So you can do some kind of combo like this. Oops. Um, and you can actually add in a tilt special after your tilt demon skill as well, just for a little bit more damage. Oops. And you have to make sure you do it quickly or that will happen and you'll get punished big time. But, uh, it's gonna do a lot of damage, and Sabuto isn't even a low health character. Nezuko just really, really hurts. But other than that, I think that's basically all there is combo-wise to Nezuko. Off of her dive kick, she gets a yellow combo, so you can go into the same combos we've been doing the whole time. Just pay attention if you're nearer to a wall. And even if you decide to, um, not... 
I forgot to say this when we were talking about her frenzied kicks. The only way you can combo off of the mid-screen is by using your heal bash, but if you don't want to spend a demon skill, you can actually just leave it and go for this kind of like reset situation. So if I'm mid-screen, I can just dash and jump, and you get this kind of cool jumping over the opponent's head reset. So if they try to press buttons or do kind of anything, you're just going to completely counter them. And um, just go over their head, and if you start a combo with your these like jumping buttons, you're obviously going to do a lot of damage. That's usually most characters' optimal way of starting combos. So it's honestly a perfect way of starting that if the opponent chooses to order a recover. And um, I'll just say it once again, it's just a dash cancel into a jump. And you can land on either side, depending on the timing. <laughs> it can go very different in very different ways, but as long as you hit them, it doesn't matter. And if they do choose to not wake up, then you just got a ton of time and a hard knockdown to do whatever you like. Oops, did I turn the wrong thing off? Oh, I meant to turn this off. Um, you can kind of go for like a dive kick feint, so they try to punish you dive kick, and then you go for another one. You can, you know, just try and bait things, bait a DP, bait mashing on wake up. You can go for stuff like this, and as you can see, oh, I'm near a corner again, I can, oh, actually, <laughs> I wasn't as close as I thought I was, but, uh, yeah. Honestly, I think that's all there is to talk about combos with Nezuko. She's very free from, very, very damaging, and even if the opponent is guarding, I can quickly talk about guard pressure since it's kind of like combo sequences. Um, if the opponent doesn't know much about Nezuko, you can use your frenzied kicks and completely annihilate th their guard bar. If they don't push her back at the right time, this seems like the most overpowered special move in the entire game, because you can just at any point- oh, I disabled guard break, that's why this is taking forever. She guards break really quickly, it's very advantageous on block and does a lot of guard damage. So, the opponent's guard will just break super quickly, even if you just do like two of this. As you can see, it's already broken. And that wasn't even a particularly fancy sequence and I wasn't going for anything special there or whatever. But, however, the opponent can push back the first two hits of the frenzied kicks and it makes it very punishable because then it completely whiffs and it's very punishable. But, if you think you know when the opponent is going to go for their guard push, you can go for your tilt special as they go for the guard push and then go into the frenzied kick because then, you know, there's a little bit of recovery off of the guard push, they can't do it instantly afterwards. So then you get a bunch of chip damage, a bunch of guard damage, and you're plus on block after they've done a guard push. So it is still very good pressure, you just have to think a little bit, which is unfortunate. A lot of people don't like thinking when they're playing this game, but um, you know, sometimes it's worth it if you get to break someone's guard like super easily with crazy guard pressure. But um, I know I've said but um a lot trying to finish this video. That's Nezuko. She does a lot of damage. She is crazy. And uh, make sure you know where you are on the screen so that you can capitalize for as much damage as you can. She's kind of a character that just cap um, cashes out with huge damage using her demon skills whenever she wants. And if she's out of demon skill meter, you're probably going to be near the wall. And then you get to do a combo that doesn't even need demon skill meter. So it's kind of always this like dance in between doing crazy damage and then slightly lower damage but cheaper damage because you happen to be near a wall. So that is a combo guide for Nezuko. I hope it helped. I hope it helps you do some <laughs> crazy combos with Nezuko like that. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!